Now uh, I'm going to talk about the, the events. What is new in the events in this version? Uh, it is uh, the program indicators. In previous versions, as I said before, we have program indicators, but those program indicators was, were only working in the, for, uh, for uh, tracker programs, but now we have them as well in, for, uh, for events. So how they are being rendered? So let me open this new program, the contraceptive voucher program. Okay, and in this one, I can open, I'm going to open the second event. And it's about the vouchers, redeem vouchers for a family planning methods. I have like here, we have here data elements representing the IUDs or implants uh, as long-term family planning methods, but also others like pills or uh, injections for short-term methods. So now I have two program indicators. One is to count the number of uh, voucher redeems for, uh, for long-term methods and then for short-term methods. So here, the long-term methods are the, the, the IUDs, eight, and then the implant, six. So I should have a result of, of 14. And now all this, yeah, here we, are, here we are, 14, and the 13 for the short-term methods. So now we have this, this now analytic tab over here. This will show up the, the uh, all program indicators that are linked to this particular uh, event. Again, as I said before, charts, and tables are only, for now, are only linked to the tracker programs, okay, and to the enrollment scope. So here we are not going to be able to see any charts or, 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 or uh, pivot tables, but we are going to be able now to see the, the, uh, the values for program indicators. 